Oh my goodness, I need to feed the animals in the stable. I wonder how they managed with their extraordinary overnight guests. With the senses, Bethlehem has been so busy with all kinds of people that many can't find a place to stay overnight. Oh, but that one couple last night seemed so desperate and begged me for something somewhere, anywhere. So I jokingly offered to let them sleep in the stable if they wanted to, because that's all I had left. <laughs> Couldn't believe it when they did. Good morning, sleepyheads. Hey, what's the matter? You all look half asleep. Didn't you have a good night? Well, if you must know, innkeeper, we had a terrible night. None of us got much sleep. But in the end, it's all been pretty exciting. Why? What happened? I did let a couple of guests sleep here with you, but they seemed like such a nice, quiet couple. Quiet? <laughs> Nothing quiet about last night, that's for sure. What do you mean? What happened? Did they destroy anything? Did they try to steal some of your hay away? Or try to hurt you in any way? Because if they did, I'll get them. I'll make them pay. No, no, nothing like that. And anyway, everything is okay now. I mean, really okay. In fact, it's really exciting. But I'd better tell it from the beginning. All right, so tell me exactly what happened. Well, it's been so awfully busy these last few days with so many people in the streets making all kinds of noise. It's been hard to get any rest at all, night or day. But it seemed to simmer down a little last night. So we animals all thought we'd finally get a good night's rest and it started off that way. Most of us had dropped off to sleep pretty easily because we were so tired already and you did give us an extra nice supper. But no sooner was I starting off on a nice dream when, hey, the door opened and a lantern shone in and a couple of people came in. Oh, I'm sorry about that, but they seemed so desperate that I felt sorry for them, and I figured you wouldn't mind just one night. Well, they did settle themselves down in the hay pretty quickly, and we all went back to sleep. But then the lantern was lit again, and there was a new commotion that woke us all up. And all of a sudden, we heard a strange crying. It was the sound of a baby crying, not like a baby animal. The lady had given birth to a baby. Then the man took my manger. I had all my best hay in it that I was saving to eat for a nice midnight snack. Gone. Just like that, without him even asking my permission. Hey! Well, when I saw that the lady was putting the new baby in it, I didn't mind so much. Then we heard the man say that the baby was to be named Jesus. So we knew it was a boy. Finally, the baby stopped crying and everything was quiet again. So we all got back to sleep, even the new baby. Wow, I didn't know anything about those people or that they were gonna have a baby. That's incredible. And it couldn't have been very nice for a new baby to be born in a stable. People think it's a stinky, dirty place, but your manger with a nice bed of hay would have been very soft for the baby. That was nice of you not to fuss about them using your manger, especially since it was for a brand new baby. I'll make sure you get an extra nice helping of hay for your next snack. Thanks, innkeeper. I love fresh hay, but that's not the end of the story. It isn't? What else happened? No, there's a lot more. As I was saying, they were all back to sleep when there was more noise. More noise? You mean they had another baby? No, no, no. But yes, there was more noise at the door knocking and then the door opening, the lantern being lit again, and more people coming in, this time shepherds. A bunch of them. 
I could tell because they had a few of their sheep with them. I yelled out, hey, what's going on in there? But they ignored me and went straight to the people with the baby. Boy, we animals were all pretty mad at this time. No getting any rest. Hey, what did you, what did they think our stable was? A party room? <laughs> But then we started listening to their story, and it was the most exciting story we have ever heard. What did they say? What kind of a story did they have? Well, the shepherds said they had been watching their sheep outside in the fields at night, and everything was as quiet as usual for them. Then all of a sudden, there had been a bright light in the sky and an angel appeared. But the angel said he was there to bring them good news and then told them a new baby had been born in Bethlehem who was the Messiah. He also said to look for the baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Then the whole sky lit up with angels everywhere singing praising songs to God about the good news. The shepherds said that when the angels left, they decided they'd hunt for the baby, and the only place they could think would have a manger was a stable. That's why they came. Ours is the only stable in Bethlehem with a brand new baby in it. Well, when we animals heard that news, we forgot to be angry and upset for not getting any rest. We were excited to be the first ones to see the baby, and we began to feel pretty special that God would have chosen our stable and my manger to lay the baby Jesus in. And when we thought about Jesus being God's son, we started worshiping baby Jesus too. And what a joyful noise we made. It's been pretty exciting around here, and we wouldn't have missed it for the world. Wow, that is pretty exciting and such a wonderful story. I wish I'd seen the baby, but the people left so early this morning before I got up, so I guess I missed everything. Well, innkeeper, you may have missed seeing the baby Jesus yourself, but at least you were kind enough to let that couple stay in the stable when there was no place else for them to go. But now that they're gone, are we ever hungry? After all that excitement, where's breakfast? Coming right up.